Hi, and thanks so much for joining me. Today we are doing a full face tutorial using my 2018 makeup favorites. So let's go ahead and get started. Going ahead and starting with Even Up, um, everyday sunscreen. There's not a day that I don't wear this, even if I'm not wearing makeup. I've already moisturized. And there is SPF in my moisturizer, but you know, as much sunscreen as I can get on, I will make sure I layer it up. Okay, uh, next up, we're gonna use this bronzing perfector and I'm just gonna add it to my darker areas here. You can see it cancels them out. So each layer adds some sunscreen as well as some blurring and color correcting. So next, this is where I add all that color in and I take my three illuminators, uh, the By Terry CC Serum in Sunny Flash, the Fluid Sheer Giorgio Armani, and then also the DeBronzy Anti-Pollution. And I just mix those three because that really comes out to be the most ideal shade. So again, you've got some Luminosity, a really nice filtering effect with the By Terry. You've got the deepness I need with the DeBronzy. And then finally, we have the uh, Giorgio Armani. It brings back the warmth. So I mix them all. And I apply it to the exterior first. And you'll see quickly how it just brings back that color. Come on, I'll just pat it into the center, whatever's left. Not as much though. So we're getting back to that color I started out with. Um, we're getting closer to that. Next I'm gonna go in with the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I love this for the filtering and also um, it just diffuses the light so that these areas are not as pronounced and Makeup adheres really well to this. I'm just applying it to the areas where I will put concealer slash foundation. We're gonna go in with the Clay de Peau Concealer for Eyes in Mocha. And I did prep with the Clay de Peau Eye Cream because they just work so well together. Dampen Beauty Blender. I might add more later depending on how it looks in a moment here. Again, I've tried this without setting it with powder. It works just as well. It just has a different look because if you powder the rest of your face and this part isn't powder, then you just kind of notice the difference. So depending on if you powder or don't powder, you can either powder or not powder this. Uh, let's go ahead and here's where the work comes in. So I am going to use um, a combination of a lot of things here. If I don't have much time, I'll show you what I do. I've done this before in the other concealer videos. I'll just put on some of this color corrector by Cover FX, and then I will go in with, that's the second thing that I dropped. I will go in with this clay de peau, like this, really quick. And then I take the same beauty blender and just melt. This works really well for those days that are quick and I don't have much time and uh, it's not summer. So there's this. You can see it's not totally perfect and it does take a bit of work. But if I do really want something to last, I will go in with the Tom Ford Waterproof Foundation Concealer in 7.0. Then I will mix it with the Naked Skin Color Corrector Fluid, Color Correcting Fluid in Deep Peach by Urban Decay. And then I just mix like this. Now, the way I'm gonna apply it, it's a little bit wasteful of the product because it soaks into that beauty blender, but it just, it works the best. Like I could tap it on like this and then go with the beauty blender, it just doesn't work as well. Like it works okay, 
but I'm gonna actually put my beauty blender in here and it absorbs a lot, but it also works better. <laughs> so as you can see, did a better job. And then I'll go back and forth like this until the color looks right and until the darkness is addressed. So if you notice, I'm not really putting foundation anywhere else. So I don't typically use this foundation all over the face because I have combination skin. It works really well in the center of my face because that's where I'm more oily. But on the exterior of my face, I'm actually dry. So I don't use this on the exterior of my face. And I actually don't really need foundation on the exterior because my skin's in pretty good condition. It's just a matter of melding these two together now. And this is where a majority of my time is spent doing this exact thing. And this is on repeat until I feel like we're covered up sufficiently and blended in sufficiently. And I will um, take a less mixed version of it so it's a bit more or less peach toned around this area right here where they start to come together. You can see it starts to mesh a little bit better because um, it can get a little too peachy toned here because of the color corrector that I'm mixing in. I will also sometimes layer some of the clay de pot in between there just to bring it down a little bit in terms of the peachiness sometimes it can get away from me and I will layer some of that in there and the reason it takes so long is because this is how I get it to look more like skin than makeup add a little really work it in add a little more Work it in. It's a lot of work, but it actually looks really nice when it's done. Okay, so at this stage, this is not totally fully covered, um, but I'm gonna go in with one more concealer. I'm going in with the Magic Way Liquid Concealer by Charlotte Tilbury, and this just brings everything back together. This is number eight. This kind of gets rid of that over peachiness that kind of gets distributed during that whole process and adds a really nice skin-like texture, skin-like finish to everything. Okay, that is a lot of work. Okay, next, we're gonna go in and powder. Next, I'm taking a Dampen Beauty Blender, and then this is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder, and I like this for under the eyes, so I'm just dipping it in there really gently and powdering like so. Just very lightly. Next, we're going in with the Bobbi Brown Powder in Peach. Of course, on those darker spots, just one more layer of color correcting. And actually, sometimes when I put a translucent powder down on these areas, it darkens up again, so this helps that not happen. This is the finishing touch on powder because it really diffuses that light. Again, radiant light, ambient lighting powder by Hourglass always my last step here and I'm just gonna lightly powder right on the edges and I will be adding some liquid contour right now so this is the Hollywood contour wand 
by Charlotte Tilbury and this is in the medium dark shade. So I didn't powder very heavily around here because I knew I was going to add some of this. And oh, here we go. And on the other side. Put a little bit of lip gloss on because my lips are very dry right now. Okay, I'm just gonna add a bit of the highlighter as well. I'm gonna add that now just because we're in that area. It's the Beauty Light Wand by Charlotte Tilbury. This one, this is the one that came with like very, it felt like very little in there. I don't know why. I'm gonna take the Beauty Blender actually and just blend that in. Okay, let's go on to brows. I like the Wonder Brow for the summer, but I have been using the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ash Brown for the winter. It just it works better because it's not as um, thick. The Wonder Brow is a little bit thicker. And I have this really old, like it was a really old brush by Stila, number 10. But I like it because it's kind of um, like splayed out. It's not as precise. So you get more of a, like a natural look with this one. The bristles are very coarse. Like they're not soft at all. They're very coarse and I like that. So it's not as precise. I have used the It Cosmetics one, which is really nice, but it's very precise. And I don't want such a completely manicured look. So there's a really quick, really quick eyebrow there. I'll clean it up in a little bit with a little bit of pencil. These brows are a bit uneven, so we'll fill in especially this top part right here a little bit more carefully. So I just use this to get a general shape going, and then I'll take my Dior pencil, and this one's in 002. I'm going to just fill in a little bit here in the front where it's a bit sparse, and then fill in here as well. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my Glossier Roy Brow, where are you? I just haven't found anything that has this kind of hold on it. Higher end. The higher end, I noticed the mascaras and eyebrow products are more delicate, I wanna say. They don't have as much hold as something like this, or um, until recently I was using the Maybelline Lash Sensational, because that had some really great build and hold. So I've yet to find a high-end eyebrow product that I love. This one's really reliable. There we go. Okay, next, let's go in with eyes. And this is just fun to use, the Charlotte Tilbury Stars in Your Eyes palette. They brought it back temporarily. Must have had some extras or something. But this is a palette I think they should bring back full time. I know they're bringing Pillow Talk back full, full time, <laughs> permanently, as part of their permanent collection. And this one would be great too. Okay, so I'm just making this sort of shape right here. 
and I'm going to about halfway under my pupil. Yeah, I'm stopping right under my pupil. Then I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend. So that just nicely defines that area. This is the color I'm taking. Um, happy eyes, the deep color. I don't know if you notice, I'm starting from the bottom here and just going up. Heavier on the outer edge there. I'm just gonna wipe my brush off a little bit. I'm gonna take two colors from Love Eyes, this lightest color, and then that salmony color. The light color I'm gonna take right under my brow, right here. And then again, right here. And then I'm going to take that peachy color and just go right in between here. Really lightly because it's intense in terms of the color payoff. Okay, a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna go in with confident eyes and take that purpley color, that deep plum, and then just get in the corners right here. Blend. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is add eyeliner because that'll give me a good idea if I need more or less or make some adjustments. I'm going to take my Marc Jacobs highlighter and blacker and just run it under here. Tight line. Oh, I forgot. I was going to go in with some shimmer from this palette. I'm going to go in with these two shades. So the deeper shade first from Confident Eyes. I'm just going to pat that on. and the other eye. Next I'm going to go in with the lighter color from the beginning of my eye to the center, just halfway here. I'm just taking my Tom Ford liner and laying it along the lash line just to deepen that area right near the roots. Just makes the lashes look more full and the flexibility of this like the calligraphy side lets you do that really easily I just run my finger along here soften it to make sure my fingers are clean before I touch my face I always end up transferring because I'm kind of messy so I'm gonna take this shorter end and just Imprint a little wing here. So I'm really just doing this for the shape. I'm going to use the eyeliner, a different eyeliner a second. I'm taking this Marc Jacobs highlighter in Midnight in Paris, beautiful navy with a little bit of shimmer. I'm going to go along the same line I just drew here. I'm actually going to go down as well. I'm going to take a little eyeshadow brush. And just soften that. Okay, next. Okay, I'm looking at this and I want to add a little bit more to this right here, to the edges. A little bit of purple in here, a deep plum color. I notice I see a little bit of space in between those eyelashes, so I'm just going to take the short end of this Tom Ford liner and just dot in those areas where I can see 
that there is no eyeliner. Right in between. Next, we've got the Laura Mercier crayon. Uh, oh gosh, Laura Mercier <laughs> um, caviar stick eye color in Moonlight. This one's nice for a cooler toned kind of makeup. Next, let's do mascara. So I've got the Surratt eyelash curler and lots of stuff on my finger. That's nice. I don't know if anyone else gets makeup all over themselves when they do their makeup, but I paint every once in a while and paint gets everywhere. Like, I don't know how it ends up in the places it ends up, but I'm a bit of a mess when it comes to doing something creative. So anything I do that's like on the creative side is a very messy endeavor. <laughs> Everything else though, it's neat and tidy, but just when I get creative, it's a disaster. Cooking, painting. The only thing that I do creatively that doesn't become such a mess is probably knitting because the yarn really, you've got yarn and needles and that's it. This is the Dior Show Maximizer 3D Primer and then going in with the By Terry mascara and I'm going to go in with it in the extended length first. I like to do that to just separate everything after I put the primer on. And I notice I rotate my wrist when I apply. I don't do this motion. I don't know, this doesn't seem to work as well for me, but turning it while I apply it seems to work well. So I will end up getting mascara on my eyebrow as well, but that's okay side. Save a little mascara here, but I'm going to let it dry first before I continue to touch it. You see what happened there? Just got spread out. Then I'm going to twist the mascara so it's shorter now. So the wand is shorter. It'll deposit more product on there now that they're separated. So rotate the wand outward. I just recently noticed that I do that with the mascara wand. Then I'm going to go in with the Bottom Lash Mascara by Clinique. Okay. Uh, a little bit more mascara. If you're this far along, this is where I normally do my makeup and how I have it set up. So I love using this mirror, the Simple Human Mirror. I'll link it below. But that has made such a difference with application because I can see everything. Although the only drawback is sometimes it looks a little bit different, like coloring wise, when I step away from the mirror and look in a different lighting situation which makes sense because um, things will look different in different light but this one is really nice okay um let's see what do we have left oh yeah let's go in with some lips now this is the one i talked about where it's the power matte lip pigment and get it on not one of my favorite things to use but i use it a lot so i thought let me just throw that in here because i count on it quite a bit I just don't enjoy using it. That's why I didn't think it was a favorite. But you can see quickly it just lays color down really evenly, even on pigmented lips, although I have a little concealer on right now, but that's okay. It's just migrated that way. Unintentionally. And I think I like lighter lipstick because the definition around my lips is kind of uh, blurry I'm gonna say like if I go over the line slightly it looks a little ridiculous but lighter lipstick doesn't have to be as you have to be as careful with it and the wand on this is really great because you can lay it flat or you can have it 
more um, like a lip liner. It's funny because that's one of those things that I purchased but didn't really realize how much I was using it. Next I'm taking my favorite palette and I'm going in with a little bit of the bronzer just because I wanted to throw that in here. And I just love bronzer. It's like a more subtle version of the Radiant Bronze Light that I love by Hourglass so much. And I like to use this for my neck because I don't like, I don't like putting foundation on my neck. I don't like the way it feels. So I will just bronze. It's one of those things like, if I am disturbed by something, then I can't think about anything else. Like I'll just think about the fact that there's foundation on my neck and I want to um, remove it. <laughs> so I just, I don't if I don't have to. I don't apply it on my neck. I will apply though like the serums on my neck that I showed you earlier. Sometimes I'll do that. But bronzing seems to be the easiest. Finally, this lip gloss in number six by Terry. Okay. And here we are, full face, complete. So if you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. On to brows. I like this Wonder Brow for the winter, no, for the summer. Okay, so if, summer, but I have been using the Anastasia um, dip, brow, dip Brow Pomade.